Hey guys, Shiggy here, Ray here, yay, G, you know, welcome to another episode of a GTA 5 car showcase series. I believe this is episode 92. We're going to be showcasing the Vulcan Ingot, which is a four-door station wagon sedan. And uh, yeah, you guys wanted to see this. This is sort of a similar one to the other station wagon we showcased a few weeks ago, which was similar to the Honda Civic. So uh, yeah, let's see how this one plays out and drives, and sort of handles and talk a little bit about it obviously the right now it's not one of the fastest station wagons in the game but it's up there you know there's not many station wagons in this game it's about four or five different ones but that's pretty much it the acceleration for this car is pretty poor at this very moment but we never know off you know, we've got to definitely test it after it's fully customized with its modern stuff and what sort of available options we have I wouldn't be surprised if there's nothing for the visuals of this car because this is one of those cars you know just it wouldn't look right with bumpers and skirts and spoilers and stuff, so it is a station wagon. You should expect that. But definitely for performance, if you guys remember a few weeks ago we showcased, I can't remember that name, but the car that looked, the station wagon that looked similar to the Honda Civic, that car had amazing performance after tuning it from the uncustomized version. So anyway, armor, brakes, engine, lights, plate. Spray. There's two colors, so that's primary and secondary. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I want to stick to one color because that would just make everything easier. Choose a different color for this. Let's go with that wine red. Slap on the power lesson on top of that. Go with something different. Ooh, that looks quite bright. Bright purple doesn't look bright. Bleach brown, meh. Anything can go with, holy shit, that looks nice. Let's go with the ultra blue. And then we got secondary color, just make it matte black. As, uh, well that looks weird, actually metallic black should be better. There we go. No, that's, that looks completely weird. I'm just gonna make it wine red. I'll make it white. Whatever man, let's go. Wine red. There we go. Suspension, transmission, turbo. Wheels. Uh, nah, I'm not sure about the low rider wheels though. Muscle. Nope, that looks disgusting. Off road. Holy cow. SUV. Yeah. <laughs> VIP. I mean, that purple looks horrendous. Custom tire. Blue tire smokes. Fully tinted out. There you have it, folks. Now let's test this car out. See how it performs. Let's rev this up first of all. All right, sounds decent. It's a front wheel drive, there you have it, folks. A front wheel drive station wagon. It's kind of stuck now. Oh, there we go, now it responds. No, I did not expect that at all. So another one down in the list for front wheel drive. Probably like a seventh, eighth car that is front wheel drive that we've tested so far. I'm sure there's many more in the game. So this one, is decent but not not much from it when it comes to the acceleration see that's the car in front of us right now which is the resemblance to the honda civic if you sort of compare it side by side i'm trying my best because this car is freaking driving sort of the same length you know sort of similar sort of features to it but different rear and headlights i suppose but that's pretty much it both are similar station wagons overall but I say this one's slower than the other one. That one that we just drove past when it comes to fully customized. But it, it is decent, it is decent. But holy shit. My bad. Oh wow, that was horrible. The controller messed up there. The thing about controller is that when I push down my left stick, every other button just presses automatically. So you just saw there, it came up with something that I wanted to select. I think it pressed squat square at the same time so it's so weird that's the thing about ps3 controllers just breaks down after a month or so of using it for many hours every day uh, here we go with franklin's ability for this stunt jump and see what we can do with this and pull off in the air i'm not i wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't go that high but let's see oh shit yeah see it doesn't it's, it's, it wouldn't reach the top of the skyscraper Oh crap, that was one hell of an awkward landing. Well, this is pretty much the smashed up Vulcan ingot. 
But yeah, this really hasn't surprised me at all. So, you know, it is still a slow car after customizing it. But not the slowest, put it that way. Obviously, it's much better than the Regina when it comes to the top speed and general looks and stuff and whatnot. But put it this way, in, in the list between the station wagons we've, tests, we've tested so far, the, the car that we compared this to uh, in this episode comes to the top and this, com this one comes second and Regina comes third. So if there is any other station wagons we're going to test, you know, hopefully there is more. I don't think there is more, but if so, let me know. Uh, but right now, that, that's the current standings for the list for the station wagons. So this is currently the second best out of the three. Let's see this here. Holy fish. That was sweet. So we're going to end this episode with, with awkward parking here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the car there at the end. That was some awkward landing, but that is the Vulcan Ingot. If you guys didn't notice that from the other one that we compared it to, you may have thought it was the same one. They do look awful lot similar, but you know, just the headlights and real lights are completely different. This one's sort of uplifted, the other one's sort of thin on the front. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy. For more episodes, I'll be bringing out very soon, every day. Uh, just for as long as I can find the cars. And if they spawn, you know about the spawn system in this game. It's slightly broken. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Check it out. Sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah! Are you guys ready for part five?